everybody and welcome back to ages how you wear it vlog style because i wanted to come up here just to say hello just to let you know what's going to be happening this weekend i am going to atlanta for the very first time now i've drove through atlanta i've been to the atlanta airport but i've never went to atlanta itself so i'm going to stay in atlanta for overnight and i'll be there for two days and i'm going to thriftcon what is thriftcon where the biggest vintage flea market and you know i am an avid thrifter so i cannot wait i am ecstatic and i'm going to film it all for you the hotel i go to the food i eat and even though i'm only going to be there for two days i hope to get so much footage for you and you see um i have a unboxing of a new perfume for you so you will see that this will be a very very short vlog but i wanted to make sure i came up here and at least said something to you this weekend the next thing is before i close out i'm going to show you how i do my nails because of course i'm going out somewhere so i need to have me some nails on and so let's get to that see you in a bit So let me go ahead and so it's still in its little wrapping. So this I keep. You can put this in purses and stuff like that. So this I keep. So what is the blind buy? Y'all know I do blind buys with you. My blind buy perfume. Well, it is Chloe. The Chloe Love Story is the name of the perfume. So let me open it. Ooh, I hope I like the smell. I got it from Saks. Here it is. It's still on unboxing because I ain't never unboxed the box. Oh, so here we go. I hope you can see because this light is so bright. There it is. So this is Chloe. Beautiful bottle. So let me take the paper and everything out. They ain't playing no games. Okay. And look at this little bottle. This is so cute. You know, half of it is the bottle, right? So it's got this little um, handle. You just bring that down. And here is the top. And it comes off. <sighs> Oh my God, this smells so good. This is definitely a day scent going. I'm, I'm, I might have to wear this. I might have to wear this when I go on to Atlanta, when I go to uh, the thrift con, cause I want to see how it lasts. So I can give you a review on how it lasts, how it is seeping through the shirt. This smells so good. If you like not too sweet, let me tell you what it says as far as what how they describe it. You know, they always got a little description of it. Like, this is this, and it smells like this. Okay. Love Story by Chloe is a floor fragrance for women. It was launched in 2014. The rose behind this fragrance is Anna. Oh, I'm sorry. The rose. The nose. The person who created. Uh, Anna Flippo. Top notes are neroli, pear, bergamot, grapefruit, and lemon. The middle notes are orange blossom, stephanotis, rose, peach, and black currant. Base notes are musk, cedar, cashmere wood and patchouli okay so those are the notes in it oh my gosh guys all my favorite favorite notes I it smells like you just got out of the shower let me tell you exactly what it smells like you just got out of the shower you lotion down you put on this beautiful floral long maxi dress because it's warm but not hot it's um it's a string one so it's not 
covering your arms you spray this on you go to a brunch or you go somewhere where you're going to be around a lot of people but it's an outdoor event that is this daytime date lunch date whether it's with your man your girls your new friend this smells delicious now, I will give you the review on how long it lasts. I'm going to wear it this weekend to the event, and I'm going to tell you just how it performs. everybody so as you saw I let you see me do one or two nails and this is the result so I did my press-ons and what I do is after I'm finished I wash my hands and then I put oil I put oil on my hands my nails so that my cuticles, especially when you putting on press-ons because you have to file them down and put that glue on them. And then here is my nails, all nice and oiled up with my new press-ons. So let me tell you a little bit about it. So I use the this wand here. Uh, it's from Amazon. I use it to clean off any, uh, because in between getting my nails, putting my press-ons on, I put oil and I put hardener on my nails to keep them from breaking, because I keep them real short. So just to keep them from being damaged. And then I, so once I'm ready to put these, Look how you do your nails, your hands all in your face. Yes, honey. Yes. <laughs> they do. Boom. Anyway, so I take that to get that off. And then you have to take a um, emery board just to make it a little rough on top so that the glue can stick. And this is the best glue ever. When I tell you only do drops take a drop and spread it around do not do zzz, like you just do a whole bunch up there like them cheap glues that come with the nails no get this kind and you will never go wrong then you put it up there and you see i have a heat lamp that i got in case i ever want to put polish on my own nails i got that uv light and that's here so this is the uv light i was using and I like to let it um, set the glue so that it can harden the glue faster. And then I, the last ones I had on, I had those nails on for three weeks. Because what I do is I don't keep them long like this. I only have them long when I'm going somewhere. 
because I just think long nails look so pretty, but I can't have them all the time anymore. And I know some people is long. This is the longest I'm gonna go. And I used to get my nails this length when I used to pay that money to get my nails done. Now, all I got to do is I love the freedom. Like I said, I've said this before. I love the freedom of not having to have long nails all the time. So when I want them, I can. And then all I do is I don't take these off. I just cut them down. So I always get ones that if I cut them short to my, to my nail, that they will still look pretty. And I get two nail looks out of one. Make that stuff last and make it make sense. And then I have them on, the shorter they are, the longer they last. I have them on forever until I'm ready to do another, go somewhere or another video or something where I have long nails. So that is how I do my nails at home. I'm telling you, it's the best thing ever. Save you so much money. Now you can get those long nails. You don't even have to pay anybody. I know you're thinking, oh, but I want mine to last a long time. If you do it right, it will. Because if you're going to pay $100 every two weeks for some long nails, no, that is not in my budget anymore. Not doing it. Not that I can't afford it. Not that I'm just not doing it anymore. But you do you because, you know, it's your money. I used to pay to get my nails done after the pandemic, and I had to do it myself. I never went back. So also that's new is my hairdo. Yes, honey. <laughs> Fiery red with me some curls. And I got it from Amazon. Here's the wig right here. I love stuff I can take off and put back on love it and i love this color this is gonna welcome in spring it's not a lot it's not too much and i like it honey sure do i got it watched it moosed it and i ain't did nothing haven't did anything to it since uh what else is new i have my chanel studs that's new and of course if you've ever watched my videos you've seen this i got this five dollar necklace uh it's a thrifted necklace and it is just bam in your face so i love it um and i have on my apple watch with my snake bracelet that i got from dillard's it's just one bracelet that you snake around and this shirt i got from shein i love it because look at the flowers on the sleeves it is a statement in itself. So the necklace and this bodysuit, it is a bodysuit, speaks for itself. So I didn't want to, you know, I'm a big earring person, but I didn't want to wear any big earrings. So anyway, like I said, guys, I hope you like my nails. So cute. The only thing I'm going to talk about today, and it's going to be short and sweet, is why is it taking you so long to do for you? I still it I, I can speak from experience. It took me, don't get discouraged, okay? When you have children, your focal point is always gonna be your children first. So when they're young, you care, you you care more about what they look like, what they got on, what they eat, you know, dressing them, getting them right for the world, and then your home looking nice and and I went through all of that. And now it should get to a point in a certain age where you now supposed to do you. Whether you married or not, whether you living with someone or not, never forget about that time for yourself. And I want you to sit today and I want you to think, when is the last time I done something for me? I know the last time I can name that I did something for somebody else. But when is the last time I actually said i'm taking myself on a date i i'm going to oh I'm, you know what i'm going to sit and i'm going to get a pedicure today i don't care that i'm not um it's still winter and i maybe i'm not even showing my feet it's not the point it's the it's the experience when is the last time you said you know what i'm going for a walk by myself in my own thoughts see all of that helps you let me show you the oil that I used. I got this um, 
It is from Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Moisturizing Softens Body Oil. You know how you get it when you're traveling and you get those little travel sizes? That's where I found this at. This is going to last me forever. And it, it is so good for my hands. And it is good for the feet too. Put it on before you go to bed after your shower. Put it on your hands and feet. Wonderful. Okay, let's get back to you. So I know now you might be saying, oh, you can sprout that do for you now. Well, I can tell you that I wish somebody had told me because when my children was growing up, these type of things would have helped me decompress. Me taking a little time to go get a pedicure. Me not just putting some Vaseline on my feet. Me going for walks to clear my mind. Me saying, okay, I'm going to do a spa day. Whether I'm spa daying in my own house, y'all in your room, nobody talk to me for the next hour. Put me some music on that. I did used to do that. Put me some music on, put you a candle in there, get you a glass of wine, sit in your bathtub, marinate. I am here to tell you, you need that even when you have younger kids, when you freshly married, when you freshly in a relationship, I don't care what it is. You need time to decompress away from your job, away from your family, away from your spouse. You need that. It is not, it is not called rebellion. It is, it's not even called being fiercely independent. It is called self-health. Me taking care of the inside and out. So that is the only thing I got for this short video today. But I have a topic for you next week.